Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Latobria Mason. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button and please do give it a thumbs up. Today we'll just be working on the practice fingers. Um, we'll be doing a white overlay and then also a red overlay. Obviously, we have to start off by prepping our nail first, our natural nail. So you just want to go in lightly with your filer on the nail plate as well as around the free edge if you don't like the shape or if the nail, the free edge um, actually looks crooked, you can just go in with your file and just straighten that out. And then we want to remove the dust with our manicure brush. And then we're going to go in and apply our tips. I am using size 8 tips for these specific practice fingers. They fit very perfectly. They don't overlap at all. It's also not too small. It's just a very perfect fit. Then you want to get your glue into just the groove of that nail tip. Just be moderate with um, how much glue you put on. You don't want to have too much. And then you're going to sort of press it down nicely into the just onto the free edge of the nail, uh, making sure to avoid having any bubbles as you're applying the nail tip because that can cause um, lifting later on. We are going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other um, practice finger. Um, just make sure to press it on very nicely. Don't have any air bubbles. Um, let it sit for a good few seconds and then you can go in and cut it down to the desired length that you want or that your client wants just cut it down i really enjoy this um tip cutter specifically because you just cut it in one go as opposed to when i would use um a normal nail cutter and then we're going in with our um, nail file this is a 180 by 180 grid file you just want to do the sides just to get that perfect square shape and then you go into your free edge as well perfecting the square shape of the nail if you're not happy you can go in again on the sides of um, the the tip just up until you're fully fully completely satisfied with how the shape looks So once you're satisfied with um, how the sides look and then you can go into just the top of that um, nail tip where it meets the natural nail just to blend it in so that it has just a flush um, look and then it's also going to help with your product application later on it will give it just a very nice natural and flush look then we remove the dust particles from the nail bed before we go in with our next two um, products. Firstly, we're going to apply our nail prep. You just want to make sure that you give it a nice generous apply of the nail prep. Nail prep is very important because it's going to dehydrate the nail bed of any of the natural oils that are already on your nail. So you go in with your nail prep first and then we're going to go in with a nice coat of um, primer. So with the primer, you want to be very careful to not um, go too close to the cuticle area because it can cause irritation to skin. You never know what type of um, skin irritations a client may have. So just to be safe, keep it as far away as possible from the cuticle area. Um, the, the product will definitely spread out on the nail bed, so you don't need to worry about it getting to all corners of the nail bed. It definitely will get there. And then now we're going to go in with our application of the white powder. Um, I picked up my first bead and I placed it just where the nail tip is blended into the natural nail. You want to place it there and then you just sort of work your way down with the brush as wet as it is, obviously, so that the product can work down. Um, what I love about these finger uh, practice fingers is that they faced down. That's how they are designed. So this helps you in your product application. Um, it allows the product to flow down as quickly or as naturally as possible with the flow of gravity obviously dragging down the product. But it really does make it easy for the product to just flow down 
towards the free edge so that you don't have to press down with the, the, the center part of your brush to sort of force the product to get it down to the free edge. It goes down as naturally as possible. Um, so I didn't, my, my, the first bead that I put, it didn't reach all the way to the free edge. So I just added another bead and then I'm going to pull it, sort of drag it back up towards the cuticle area just to give it a flush look, drag it up there and then work the product that's at the free edge to what you want it to look like. Cause then obviously you'll have an influx of product there. You'll have a bit of too much product at the edge so just go in and work your way around it remove what you need to remove go back in press in what you need to press in very gently so till you get the desired flush look that you you're looking for a bit of continuous patting just to get the product to look like how you want it to look um, and then I took a second bead and I placed it just above that area where the, the tip meets the, the natural nail um, you place it there and then again work it down very nicely to give it a nice flush look go over that product very gently with your brush clean the sides don't forget to clean the sides don't forget to clean your brush as well as you're working to remove that excess product because honestly this white powder for me is the most difficult to work with any white powder for that matter i feel like it picks up and it has product build up very quickly on the brush so clean your brush as frequently as possible um just to make sure that you don't have product just sitting there in the brush and then you you can't actually work nicely after that and then a last bead that which i'm just bleeding out a bit because it was a bit too wet that i'm going to place at the cuticle area so that i don't have product flooding the cuticle area and then you want to work that area very gently as well with your brush go in pat 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 and let gravity do its work as well So now we can go in with the application of the red powder. Uh, you pick up your bead and then you're going to place it at the area where the nail tip meets the, the natural nail. Um, just place it down, secure it down nicely and then you want to work it down. Um, gravity working in your favor. You just want to pat it down as gently as possible and then pull it down on the sides because um, products can flow down on the sides and then it looks very bulky so um, handle the sides as well keep on patting it down wetting your brush accordingly um, just to pat down gently this product works very very nicely um, the product flows down very very seamlessly very naturally so I really enjoyed working with this red you just continuously pat it into what you want it to look like. Um, but yeah, trust the process, guys. It, it's As long as you trust your product and the flow of gravity, um, you'll be good. Then we take a second bead once again just to the area above that um, nail tip and, and natural nail meeting and then just blend it down flush into the product that you had already laid before.
and then you can take your um, final bead that you bleed out first towards your cuticle area and just work it in very flush into um, the cuticle area down towards the rest of the product. And now we can go in and file the product you can just do like a young tap on the top of the nail to feel if it's dry to hear if it's dry or not um, file the same way as I did when I was prepping the nail file the sides and then you come to the free edge when you're satisfied with the shape that it's perfect or satisfying enough for you and then you can go over the top of the nail Once you're done filing and buffing and then also removing the dust particles from the nail you can go in with your top coat this is the planet nails one that i showed in the planet nails haul but i'm gonna be honest i wasn't too happy with this one because when i was after i'd applied it on the white nail and then i was busy with the red nail the white nail actually just dried off all by itself and it gave a very very dry look it didn't give the glossy shine that a top coat is meant to give so what I had to do was I used a, a different top coat it's called a gel top coat it gives a very very definitive shine a nice gloss and obviously the nails will look nicer for a longer period of time so um, it is a bit more costly but it's definitely worth it I love this one so I went in with a top coat again um and then i pop the two fingers into the nail lamp Now we can go in with our cuticle oil over the cuticle area after all that filing honestly shame these fingertips need it so just to um, nourish what you've been damaging with the filing you go in with cuticle oil around there and this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 